Urbanization is occurring at an unprecedented rate. We have about three million people every week move into urban areas. That's the population of Chicago. As a result, today's urban centers are under huge pressure. The cities of today were not designed for this massive wave of sustained migration. But a solution exists. Pioneering city leaders are developing tools that will make cities smarter, not only supporting this new wave of urban citizens, but significantly improving their quality of life. In 10 years' time, 60% of the world's population will be urban. As cities adapt to meet the needs of their growing numbers, they will face many challenges. The solution lies in data. To better utilize the existing infrastructure and to improve it over time, what we need in cities is a data-centric approach. Billions of connected, intelligent devices will gather data across smart cities. A network of sensors at the roadside, on buildings, and throughout a city's infrastructure will monitor and transmit a mass of information and send it back to the cloud for analysis. These insights are then sent back to the point of influence. So for example, more intelligently controlling traffic intersections, advertising the availability of a parking spot the moment the bay becomes available, or responding to an accident on the road with the appropriate level of support. We can almost think of it as a big interoperable system that's working throughout the city, creating an unprecedented level of intelligence that we can use to make lives better for the citizens. By gathering and analyzing data, smart cities have the potential to seriously improve citizens' everyday lives. How many times have we sat at a traffic intersection with 10 cars behind us staring at a red light and the other side has green light and there's no traffic? You have all the intelligence at the traffic intersection. You have the camera, you have the intelligent control. Let's combine that information and dynamically change the lighting sequence so that traffic can flow better. And when you do that at every intersection, the system of systems overall works much better. But this vast data system won't just be able to help us travel seamlessly through cities. It will even alter the air we breathe. Air pollution and lack of clean air is a huge issue globally. The World Health Organization estimates more than 90% of the world population does not have access to clean air. This will only get worse unless we use technology and policy measures to get it under control and to improve it over time. For example, reduce the amount of traffic. You can also encourage adoption of public transport or encourage the adoption of clean air vehicles or electric vehicles in a particular part of the city. From the provision of public services to keeping streets safer and cleaner, the smart city's digital infrastructure will deliver benefits thanks to the harvesting and analysis of data. The projected amount of data that will be generated in smart cities worldwide in 2020, so not 10 years from now, next year, will be 16.5 zettabytes. To give you some perspective on the size of this data set, if a coffee cup represents one gigabyte of data, this is enough coffee to fill up the entire Great Wall of China. But data on its own is meaningless. It's the insights and analytics derived from it that are valuable. Artificial intelligence allows these insights to be made in real time, and the more data it processes, the better its analysis becomes. So in time, the system doesn't degrade, it improves. With this amount of data, you have to use technologies like 5G and AI at the edge. There is no other way to handle the tsunami of data coming our way. This vision of the future comes with great challenges and great opportunities. But the technology is there. By working together in public-private partnerships, private companies, government and city leaders can turn this vision into reality. Let's be clear, cities worldwide are in a global competition for the best talent. The more they can offer in terms of a better quality of life for the citizens, the better is the quality of talent that they are able to attract and the companies will want to come there and set up shop. That's the ultimate goal. Over the next 10 years, the pace of urbanization is set to increase. Cities will be put under further strain. But thanks to data 
and companies like Intel, the future is looking bright.